it's Rita with Everything Homemade and in this video I'm going to share with you my personal journey on how I lost weight, how I got rid of my headaches and what I did to remove the throbbing, agonizing pain of my varicose veins. First, I would like to mention that I'm a fiction author. If you are interested in my books, check them out at the end of this video. All links are in the description box below. So let's dive right into this. And I might emotionally break down at some parts because my journey is it's an emotional one. It's 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 so real that it still makes me tear up when I talk with it. But I really feel like I need to share this with everyone because I'm sure I'm not the only one struggling and going through the same things that I have went through. And who knows, maybe what helped me can help you. And I really hope that through this entire video, if I could help one person, if it helps one person change your life, then it was all worth it. So after my last child was born, Meadow, who is now three, so it was, it was 12 months ago, I had a really hard time. And I remember sitting there on my bed with my laptop on my knee and I'm sitting there typing because I was trying to finish up the last book in my series. And I just had an emotional breakdown. Uh, Meadow was born, my youngest, she was born at that time two, two years prior. And so I was just feeling overweight tired, emotionally drained, way more tired than I usually am. Like I'm a go, 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 go kind of a person. And I just felt really weak and just, I could sleep. I was snoozing. I was snoozing once or twice a day during the day. I just, by nine o'clock I was done. I just didn't feel like I, I could push myself anymore. And fact is, I just felt like I was kind of, you know, like, shuffling through my day. I'm there, but I'm not there kind of a feeling. And it just homeschooling the, the kids. I have six kids in total, you know, the other five kids that it was just, it was just seemed so much. And I, I just started having headaches frequent headaches, like every second day, migraine, migraine, migraine. And I mean that alone, doesn't help and I just I just felt kind of de kind of despair that you know what's going on why do I feel this way you know I got so much going for me why do I feel so down so depressed so sad and for one you know I was carrying extra weight and I was only carrying about 25 pounds extra weight and I've been you know in the back of my head it'd be like hey it'd be really nice if I could just even lose 15 pounds you know I'm putting weight around my neck I've got you know a little more weight around my shoulders my thighs are a little bit bigger my you know I'm getting more weight around my butt area and really I wasn't like people wouldn't say hey you're overweight or hey she's fat or or whatever but I could feel it and I also have really really bad varicose veins and so any little bit of extra weight it really is devastating to my legs as well so I just I didn't like the way that I looked so that obviously you know brings you down and then the constant headaches and I, I've been struggling with psoriasis ever since I was like, I don't know, three years old. My entire life has been a struggle with psoriasis. And they started flaring and my varicose veins were throbbing so bad and I just felt like a wreck. And uh, I remember sitting there in front of my laptop and I couldn't even concentrate anymore on the story and I'm, I'm, I'm going okay you know what I gotta type this I gotta get this last book done but I kept just staring at blank you know I have I have this story in my head but I can't get it down on paper because I feel 
I feel like, I just feel like dirt, like garbage. I just don't, not my usual self. And so I, and so I prayed. I prayed a lot. And I'm just like, you know what, I'm not going to type. I'm going to maybe focus on figuring out what's kind of going on and and get myself where my, my get get my and get myself back where I really need to be and uh, I didn't mention it to my husband I didn't mention it to my kids and when I came you know in the morning I put on my bubbly you know self and did my thing and I mentioned it a few times to my husband you know I just feel like I want to lose a little bit of weight and you know he would say, you know, it, it, you look great. It doesn't matter. You would, you would look so good even if you were dressed in a paper bag. And I would love him to pieces. But, but I needed, but inside and the way that I was feeling, I needed to lose and shed those baby weight. That extra baby weight that I gained wasn't coming off. And so, after that, I'm like, you know what, maybe, you know, I don't really eat that bad. I never go out to eat at restaurants because I'm allergic to everything underneath the sun when it comes to chemicals. I make everything ho homemade. I don't eat that much sugar compared to, you know, the average, average person. So maybe I just need to get on and exercise more. Maybe it's, you know, I just need to move around more. And so I started exercising, but after two or three weeks of that, I just, I saw no change whatsoever besides that I was actually getting more headaches and being more tired because I would wake up earlier again and with zero results. So I got, then I got even more frustrated with, with myself. It's like, am I not doing it right? Am I not, what am I doing wrong? Why can't I lose this little bit of weight? All I want is 15 pounds off of me. And so I remember this, this one evening, I again tried to type, tried to write. And I ended up just getting flustered because my head was hurting again. And I'm like, I'm just gonna call it quits. This is just not going anywhere. And I end up going on to YouTube and I was like, okay, well, if I answer a couple YouTube questions, then I'm just going to go to bed. On the side of YouTube, sometimes YouTube suggests a, you know, a few videos. And there was one with Dr. Berg and he has a huge YouTube channel. And usually I don't watch medical doctors on YouTube, but this, but this particular one caught my attention and it was talking about insulin resistance and intermediate fasting. So I was like, hey, that's kind of interesting. So I clicked on it and watched it. And right away, I just absolutely loved how he explained things. He gets to the point and he just explains it where you can understand it, but also he gives me some meat in there. And he was really talking about weight loss and a healthy body when it comes to not eating, you know, breakfast, lunch, and supper, and then having snacks in between everything, and how it affects the insulin and the pancreas. And with my biology background, it's like, you know what, this is starting to click. Maybe it's not that I'm not moving around because I have a farm, I'm moving around a lot. Maybe it's because of insulin resistance and the way that I'm eating the proportions that I'm doing and, and the snacking. I'm 37 now, and maybe my body is actually switching gears where I'm, my metabolism is actually slowing down. And so this big light came on and I was like, okay, you know what? It's worth a try. It's absolutely worth a try. So I didn't go full on keto. I kind of did a relaxed keto. Let's just say that. So I cut all sugar, absolutely all sugar. So I mean, I cut maple syrup, honey, molasses, um, you know, natural sugar cane. I cut maple sugar, coconut sugar, like sugar, every, everything, and with no substitution. And I cut out the wheat and the high starch. So I still ate, you know, more 
fruit than what was recommended on a keto diet, but I definitely decreased and brought my vegetables up higher and, you know, ate just a normal amount of protein and going, okay, you know what, it's worth a try, but I'm not going to tell anyone. And that's what I wanted to do. You're probably going to go, why didn't you tell somebody? Well, I didn't want to tell anyone because if they saw the change in me, then I knew I was on the right track. I wanted them to see the change physically, emotionally in me and not me having to tell them. So I just stayed quiet. And, and I figured, you know what, let's do this intermediate fasting. So this was going to be a big challenge because I'm around food all the time. You know, I make breakfast for the kids and lunch and supper. I do all the muffins and cooking. They help too, but when we're schooling, I take all that up, you know, cheese and bread, and I'm surrounded by food all the time. And so I did sit down with the kids and I said, you know what, we're going to make one big change. And that big change is that I am not going to have any snacks anymore. I'm going to have my breakfast. But from breakfast to lunch, I'm not going to eat anything. So when you guys are hungry for your 10 o'clock or 10.30 snack with school, that's fine. But please do not offer me a muffin, a cookie, an apple, anything. I do not want it. And I just want you to respect that. I also mentioned to the kids, go, hey, you know what? I'm just going to not eat as much wheat, as much um, baking. So if you guys make muffins, don't be frustrated if I don't try it. I will help you make it, but I will not try the muffins right now. And they were really good about it. And they were a little bit, at first they were like, oh man, mom, come on. It's not going to hurt for you to have another cookie or another muffin. Like really, mom. But but after they kind of got, got used to it, it was okay. So the big, two big changes was I went on a relaxed keto and I did that intermediate fasting. And that really started making a difference. It was really hard at first. I mean, I remember the first four days, I was like, oh my goodness, I am not going to make it to breakfast. I, I wake up and I do my chores. Usually I have a snack before I go outside at like six in the morning, you know, a piece of bread or something. And... I waited all the way to eight o'clock, so that took a little while to get get to get used to, and then to go from eight o'clock to noon without having that ten o'clock snack was a bit of a challenge at first, and then from noon until five to eat again. So I had to really, really push myself. Go, okay, this is when you eat. This is when you're going to take a break for your system to digest. So it took a little while to get used to that. But once I did, after about a week, I started to notice this huge improvement. I actually had more energy and my headaches started to disappear. I didn't really lose any weight at this point. And for, for just the headache starting to disappear was like a huge breakthrough. And about three weeks into this new lifestyle is when I really started to notice changes and when others started to notice changes. And I was obviously losing weight before this, but because it was slow, I didn't really pick up on it myself until about three weeks when I was like, holy man, my jeans are a lot looser. And I kind of got excited. I was like, oh, this is cool. And I didn't want to before that weigh myself every day because I didn't want to, you know, basically go, oh my goodness, I gained a pound. Oh my goodness, I lost the pound. I didn't want to be like that. I wanted to just focus on being healthy. And then also around that three weeks, I can't remember which child came up to me, but one of them did. And they said, mom, you know what? you're not snoozing very much anymore. You're not tired. You don't have a headache. And that's when it really hit home to me was they're starting to see a change in me and they don't really know what I'm trying to do, but they're seeing the change. And she, and, and they were right. I was having no more headaches. I was go, go, go in the afternoon instead of, you know, I was feeling so sluggish and 
and just tired. I was like, let's go, let's do this, let's 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 go outside, let's and they're like, whoa mom, slow down. And I'm like, why? I got I feeling so good. The other big moment that really hit me was I was I it was it was in the evening and I had taken a shower and I come out and I was it was about April. So I started this in February of this year. One of the biggest moments for me was when I got out of the shower and I was putting on some capris. And these capris, I hadn't put them on for like over a year. So I had grabbed them because I was like, hey, I haven't worn these for a long time. And I slipped them on. And then I let go of them on my waist and they fell back down. And I was like, holy smokes, is that how much weight I've lost? And so I called, I called my husband into the washroom because I was just ecstatic. I was like, oh my goodness, like, and I, I put them on, you know, when he walked in, I was kind of actually holding them underneath my shirt. And I said, darling, look at this. And I let go of them and my capris went whew, back down. And he was just like, he's like, you know, I, I knew you were losing some weight and you looked good, but to lose this much weight and have the energy and the, and feel great. Like I felt like I was on cloud nine and, and at that point he knew, you know, my headaches were not even happening and I was feeling good but but it was just that that moment of realization going oh my goodness I've lost like 20 pounds here and and my body feels so good so I continued with with the modified or light keto change and I will never go back I feel so good. I feel like I am 21. Actually, I feel better than when I was 21, but my weight is back down to when I graduated from school. I I'm at my I'm at my weight I was when I was 18. I am feel light. I'm just overall mentally, physically, I just feel so good. I'm revved up. I got my energy back. I I just I look myself in the mirror and all I can do is smile and and what else was my varicose veins now like I said I've been struggling with psoriasis since I've been th like three years old you know I've had them all over my, my 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 chest my stomach my face my scalp I've I've had them and I still struggle they flare up or sometimes and with cutting out the sugar and cutting out the the wheat has made a completely difference they're still there but they are much less and my varicose vein my varicose veins because i lost the weight obviously feel obviously feels better but there was some key things that i did so let's talk a little bit about some supplements that I am actually taking that has made a significant amount of difference. And I'm hoping that, you know, if you're struggling sort of the same thing, try this. So the very first thing is, is I'm taking a teaspoon of cod liver oil every single morning. What I do is I squeeze a fresh lemon and, you know, fill up my cup with rest away with water. And I take a teaspoon of the fermented cod liver oil and I wash it down with this lemon and water. The lemon seems to help to cut that oiliness and, and it's a really good liver cleanser as well. So I take that in the morning and then I go out to do my chores, um, feed the cows, milk them, etc. And then after I eat breakfast in the morning, I take a teaspoon of kelp. I take a half a teaspoon of parsley powder and then I take a teaspoon of greens powder. Now, the greens powder I've made myself and I had a I have a YouTube video all about how to make the greens powder. 
and I make that myself, but I also make my parsley powder myself as well, and I actually put them in capsules. And I been taking the parsley for now almost a year and a half and ever since I've taken the parsley and I've isolated to the parsley is that the parsley has literally changed my varicose veins it has not it has not taken them away it has not you know removed them or healed them up but it has taken away the pain that throbbing that heaviness, the absolute pain. You know, I used to wake up every single morning. I've had varicose veins since grade one. And most people get varicose veins much later in life, but I've had a varicose vein in the back of my leg since grade one. And it was devastating because I've been teased my entire life. I didn't want to wear short, shorter shorts, anything above the knee. I didn't want to wear anything above the knee skirts because of this one vein in the back of my leg. And kids are mean to, to each other and they just, you know, find anything to tease you about. So I struggled with psoriasis. I struggled with the varicose veins. So I also struggled with, with body image and and you know after I got married and start having kids then the varicose vein you know it just exploded and now you know I can't I don't even feel comfortable going in public without you know a longer capri or something like that and still then it shows but not as bad I, I, I kind of joke that you know I say that thank goodness my husband didn't marry me for my sexy legs because our relationship would have been really really short and you know, to have so bad to, you know, I, I've went, I went for treatment. I've had injections to kill some of the varicose veins. They're so twisted. I also, a lot of my veins are way too big naturally. So there's, there's just tons of problems stacked on top of each other. And I find that the stockings don't help. Like I have to wear, I should be wearing stockings that go all the way to my butt, but they don't help. I feel I'm very claustrophobic, so I end up fainting. They're too tight. Actually, when I take them off, my leg feels worse. They're not stopping anything, any anything. They're not stopping the progression. They're actually hindering me. I can't move, I can't function, I'm grouchy, and, and I just sweat. And I'm like, that is no way to live my life. And actually, when I posted the how to make your greens mix, I had a lot of parsley that year, and I had put parsley in that greens mix. And I had made a comment, go, hey, don't take this, don't take parsley in your greens mix if you are pregnant or breastfeeding. I ended up taking that greens mix after I was finished breastfeeding with Meadow and I taken it because I was like, hey, you know, I made this, let's take it. But what I didn't realize was that me making that video was a blessing in disguise because it was so heavy with parsley that when I started taking it, my varicose vein pain disappeared and when you have had pain your entire life when you wake up in the morning and you get out of bed and it feels like somebody has punched you in the back of the leg like beaten you and you put your foot down and you get yourself ready for bed, or you get yourself ready for the morning, and you're going, oh my goodness, I can hardly walk. Because the pain is so bad. And I'm not one to go on painkillers every day. So I didn't take anything for the pain because I didn't want that pharmaceutical drug in my body to wreck my bones and and cause secondary problems and so I would just breathe start walking start working the blood 
you know, and, uh, and go through every single day, go through the chores, go through running with my kids in pain. And so with the injections was a hope that that pain would subside, would, would stop, but it just, it, it killed some of the varicose veins, but then brought other veins on that turned into varicose. So it was just this vicious cycle and it's really costly and we can't afford to continuously have injections either. And so I started taking parsley, this parsley mix. And I woke up, you know, about a month after taking it, I'm like, holy man, like I am feeling crazy good. But I didn't want to just say something. I wanted to have like a full year and a half of taking this. So then when I ran out of that parsley powder mixed with other greens, I grew parsley in the garden this year and I just cut it and made strictly parsley powder so I can go, yes, this is it. And when I don't take my parsley powder for like two or three days, then the pain starts coming back. So it's definitely the parsley. And so I started looking up what parsley does. And parsley is the anti-inflammatory. It has anti-cancer um, properties to it. But it also helps the circulation of the blood and helps in the pain of varicose veins. So it takes that throbbing. It actually opens up the, the veins and helps so the blood doesn't pull. So it pushes the blood all the way through your system. And that's exactly what it was doing. So I take for anywhere from a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon per day of strictly parsley powder that I've grown in the garden. And I take it daily and it has done wonders. I mean, I have zero pain. I can jump up and down. I can get out of bed. And as soon as I get out of bed, there is no pain. I can run after my kids continuously with no pain. I'm just, I can sit down on the couch. I can actually, I can actually kneel without pain. I am literally without pain. My varicose veins are still there, but I have no throbbing pain, no heaviness, no bruising feeling, no anything. And it is absolutely amazing. Plus it's a whole food supplement. So I am actually, you know, taking away free radicals out of my body, taking, taking a high percentage of vitamin C. Parsley is so high in vitamin C. It has just a powerhouse for varicose vein condition to help it. And I have tried, I have tried so many supplements. I have tried apple cider vinegar. I have tried every essential oil you could think of to help with varicose vein pain. I have tried stone root. I have tried um, uh, water, tried, um, I think, I've tried this other particular seed and I can't think of it top of my head, but it's recommended in, in Europe. Anyway, I have tried it. I have tried every single thing that I have researched but parsley had never ever come up and God just knew when I was making that greens video exactly what was going to happen and it is unbelievable so I am taking those particular supplements the other supplement that I am taking is nutritional yeast so what I'm doing is actually what my kids call mom's B sauce because nutritional yeast is high in vitamin B's and when you're cutting the wheat and you're cutting out, you know, a lot of things that carry naturally that vitamin B, getting those Bs, because it's really important. And so I, I make this B sauce. So it's like I take a whole bunch, I take a broth. So whatever broth I have in the fridge, beef, chicken, turkey, goose, duck, whatever, I take that broth and I jam pack it with veggies. So celery, sometimes there's celery, sometimes it's celery and carrots and broccoli, sometimes it's celery, carrots and cauliflower, but it is jam so packed where you could hardly stir it. Then I cook it down to mush basically. And then I blend it smooth and then I add in the nutritional yeast. So it, it's a, it's a really, really healthy, um, sauce than what I make and I and so what I do is that in the morning when I have my eggs and avocado and fried vegetables I'll I'll put like 
a quarter to a half a cup of it over everything and it just enhances flavor but then it really gives me this boost of bees for the day and so that's what I'm I'm doing and those are the supplements that I'm taking and it has completely changed my life so from going on this um, partial keto diet to you know really really focusing on eliminating all sugar and eliminating the gluten so taking the the cod liver oil the parsley the greens and the kelp and then the nutritional yeast and bringing those all into my diet has completely changed my life and you'll notice that all these supplements I'm taking are whole food supplements they're not not taking out a particular component the kelp is a whole food the greens mix is what I make from my garden the parsley is actually the parsley plant it's not you know not not a, a component taking out it's the whole thing so you're getting all these um, you're getting all these micronutrients on top of it the bee the nutritional yeast is a whole food supplement the fermented cod liver oil so they're all real foods not something done up in a laboratory real wholesome foods and so losing the 25 pounds that I've lost taking these nutritional supplements and then doing keto and the intermediate intermediate fasting all together combined I am me again. I have the energy, the drive, and my kids say I'm like an energizer bunny that doesn't stop anymore. And I'm just go, 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 and I have more dreams and more things I want to do, and I can keep up with myself. So this is just awesome. Remember I said that I cut out all the sugar, and I did, and I replaced some of it with stevia so I just started using some you know in my in my in my tea let's say and I just skipped all sweets like I just skipped eating all cakes and cookies and muffins and everything I just I just skipped that but then I discovered on how to make my own stevia extract how to work with a natural leaf how to bake and cook with that so I'm gonna leave that for another video because that is a whole nother thing I am working on something that's gonna rock that I hope will actually change so many people's perspectives that I'm gonna share that on the next video but I am changing all the recipes over to stevia where it's not a glycerin stevia it's not an alcohol base it's using a natural raw leaf to make make um, baking and cooking exceptional where you can enjoy some some treats that are actually healthy for you but are naturally but but are sweeter but don't spike your insulin that is just unbelievable anyway I will go more in depth in that in the next video but I want you guys to be excited with me on my health journey and how I changed my life and I bring this up 11 months after I had started because I wanted to see how it would progress. Can I keep my weight off? Can I keep this lifestyle going? And did I get my headaches back? And I have it 11 months later and I am go, go, go. I feel good. My pain in my legs still on parsley still doing the exact same thing that I told you and I am feeling great so thank you so much for watching I hope that this will change somebody's life and comment let me know hey are you on keto what kind of keto are you on strict keto a more relaxed keto what has changed your life and everybody has their story and remember what works for one person might not work for another but maybe you can just pull a little bit from me and if one component works for you or if you're a varicose vein sufferer look at parsley take a look at it um, I may do a video a little bit later on how I actually do the parsley powder just by itself but it's very 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 simple watch my greens video because the process is exactly the same the only thing is is you're just doing parsley thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.